Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on this how to clean your woolly winder tutorial. Uh, now my woolly winder is for the Magicraft Rose and I have everything set out, all the tools. My water is quite hot and I just put um, a little bit of power scour in it. I should have put a little bit more um, because the gunk that has built up on the inside of this thing is really um, not particularly um, easy to clean off. So the first thing you're going to do is grab the long screw and screw it into the front of your sliding bar and then um, or the sliding arm and then you're going to remove the stationary eye. Uh, you cannot really remove this until you're holding the whole thing steady. Once you've removed the stationary eye, then it is time to use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw on the gear. Now, some of the gears, it's obvious which way they go and some it's not. I actually put a mark on mine so I know which side goes against the flyer cross arm. But anyways, next we need to get the, uh, should have put the <laughs> sliding hook down the bar a bit, but Anyways, it works out in the long run. There's a little tiny grub screw inside there and you wanna loosen it just enough to remove the sliding eye. It has a little tiny bushing on it. Do not lose that bushing, you have to have it. It's a quiet, quiet glide bushing. So then you just grab that screw and you pull out the entire a uh, traveling screw. And then you, I remove the grub screw completely. And then if you're going to take this apart all the way, which you don't have to do very often, um, you have to get the, the coil spring, very gently work it off. And I'm trying to find an end of it with my thumbnail so I can start working it off the pawl, not the pawl, the traveler. Um, <clears throat> and you don't need that little black piece. It's just a piece of plastic. It holds everything in the right spot at the end of the experience. I'm showing you here, you can't take the traveler off with the screw, with the coil spring on there terminology today. I have a list of the terminology sitting right in front of me and I still can't get my words right. Anyway, this takes a little bit of patience. You have to be very gentle with this. <clears throat> the coil goes over the pawl and the pawl um, is what causes the traveler to travel up and down. So that is the pawl. It just fell right out and um, it's got a little flat tip to it that slides through the grooves in the travel screw. So once everything's taken apart, it goes in the water. Uh, not the outer parts that don't need to be cleaned, but all the parts that work on the travel screw. So, and the screw itself will go in there as well. And I'm getting some extra paper towels so that I can clean my hands and everything off. Um, this is quite messy. I haven't cleaned it in a while and there's a lot of oil buildup but there's no fuzz buildup this time, which is good. I've had it happen where it didn't want to wind evenly. And when I took it apart, it had some wool trapped in there. And that was a mess. I just sit there and pick it apart. Now I'm just gently using a um, toothbrush that I use only for cleaning uh, to clean the travel screw thoroughly. And it will get oiled before I use the flyer again. But um, if you're curious about how to take it apart and clean it, how to maintain it, there are instructions on the Wooly Winder website. Um, and your Wooly Winder does come with a set of instructions. I've lost mine, so I downloaded the instructions on my phone. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos as they come out. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. So as you can see, even washing the parts that make up this Wooly Winder flyer 
you're still gonna have gunk that comes off when you dry it. And everything must be completely dry before it is assembled. So I always do my best to dry everything off and then let it air dry for a few hours. I have a silver pipe cleaner that was in the craft drawer that I'm using to clean the inside of the Traveler and all the little holes on it, the hole for the pawl and the hole for the grub screw and the groove for the traveling eye. I do not clean the uh, what, what's it called? The bushing. I don't clean the little bushing because it's so easy to get lost and I, it came with two extras and I've already lost one and I really cannot afford to lose the other. So um, I could probably order extras but you know the little grub screw is so tiny. Anyways most of the time all you need to do is pull the traveling screw out and rinse it off thoroughly let it dry thoroughly and give it a little bit of an oil and you're good to go you don't normally have to take this apart all the way um, but i prefer to do that so i get everything completely clean now i'm trying to shove a paper towel down in the arm so that i can get all the built up grease off of it and uh the first bit I had it too thick so I had to put a thinner bit in there and then I end up using the Allen wrench to um, scoot it down to the bottom and then I just wiggle and twist and eventually I get as much of the built up oil residue off of there as I can. See how nasty that was? Really gross. And now I'm just kind of cleaning up the bits of water and dust and stuff like that. So everything is now completely clean and it is, you can see all the way through the arm. It's pretty clean in there. There's no little bits of anything hanging on. So now I'm going to put a tiny drop of power scour on my hand where I've got some black gunk. And I'm just going to wash my hands off so that I don't put grease dirty grease back on everything um, <clears throat> and then it's time to let everything dry for a while this is the large white gear again i'm showing you the the end that i marked is a little black mark we no longer need the water because everything's clean there's a little tiny spring the traveler I'm blowing through the hole to get as much water out as possible. I was going to assemble this immediately and then decided that it needed to dry completely. So the two different eyelets and I'm being very careful to clean the residue off with the damp paper towel. Residue off of the traveling eye but without losing the bushing or without tearing it. It's just a little tiny piece of uh, silicone I think. Um, flexible little teeny tiny thing really hard to see and if you drop it oof so <clears throat> it has dried up for a few hours and it's time to assemble now i have to warn you i put the last piece in the wrong direction and i had the worst trouble getting the gear to turn um, and i couldn't figure out why until i looked at the instructions again but we'll get to that in a moment so you put the traveler on with the groove facing the bottom end of the traveler of the screw and then you put the pawl in it doesn't really matter which direction you put the pawl it um, will travel perfectly regardless of which way you put it it is recommended to put the coil on first over the screw and then put the traveler on but this works you do have to hold that pawl in place or it'll fall out and believe me when you've got the um, you've got that little tiny spring partially on there and then the pole falls out you have to take that spring back off it's such a pain anyway it's a delicate little spring so you have to be very careful with it and in putting that back on you don't want to cross the wires over themselves so um got to make sure that each wrap of the wire is laying next to the previous wrap Otherwise, it'll get caught and your pawl 
uh, your traveler won't be able to move inside the arm, um, <clears throat> the hollow arm. So here I'm just double checking that everything is situated properly and there's no crisscross wires. Um, and that the spring is in the proper placing and everything will work properly. So I had a short thumbnail, but it's long enough to work. And uh, that's probably the most fiddly part of putting this thing together. That said, there is another really fiddly part, but sometimes it cooperates and sometimes it doesn't. We'll get to that in a second. So. Next, you put the grub screw in, which I have the dickens of a time getting right now, and it falls on the floor and I have to go hunting for it. I do eventually find it and then decide to stick it on the tool, the Allen wrench, and then put it on the traveler. That worked beautifully. So I tighten it down to where it's flat because you can't fit it into the sliding arm. Here, I've got that black thing backwards. Um, is supposed to have the beveled edge towards the gear, not the other way around. So don't do my mistake. Once you put the traveling screw in the hollow arm, then you have to get the grub screw and the slit to be upright where you can reach it. And then you want to use the Allen wrench to loosen the screw and hold everything in place. Right there, I didn't do it right, and it's a pain, and then some, to get that traveler to turn the right way. <laughs> Until you get the traveling eye in there, it doesn't want to do right. So that's the other most fiddly part, and sometimes you just gotta pick at it with the um, Allen wrench to get it to turn to the right place. And once you get that, it's good. The bushing on the traveling eye has to be in just the right place or your eye won't go in the slot slit. Um, and it would help if I had another finger or hand or something here. Anyways, <clears throat> I end up fiddling with it for a while and then holding the whole flyer upside down to put the traveling eye in because that bushing wants to fall with gravity and it needs to be snug up against the circle. So, and at, at an angle, I'm trying to show you that little teeny tiny bushing is supposed to be resting at an angle against the circle part. Otherwise, you don't have room to put the bent little piece inside the traveler. I'll get it eventually. I did this so many times because I couldn't get the gears to turn that I got really good at it. But all of that problem was because the, what is it called? The black front bearing is backwards. And that's literally the only reason I'm having issues. So everything else was perfectly fine. And once I turned that around, I didn't have any more trouble. So make sure your bushing is in the correct position. So I'm trying to figure out why it's not working right. Yeah. I end up spending about two hours trying to figure this out before I finally moved that. Um, I finally got everything to where it would work. And then I looked up the instructions and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't knock anything off kilter and the problem was the bushing. So, you know, live and learn. But you're, you, you can at least see the, the basics of how to put it together. You gotta make sure that travel screw is all the way in there to where it nestles into the hole at the bottom of the hollow arm. <clears throat> and putting that teeny tiny screw on the, the white gear can be a little bit fiddly, just getting it started. This time it wasn't. 
Now here I was trying to check and see if it was working before I put everything all the way together. And it is until I put this black bushing in the wrong direction and then nothing wants to work. So you put your Allen wrench down in the hole of the flyer bar and crossbar and you find the hole in the bushing with the Allen wrench and then you screw in your stationary eye. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it was very informative and um, I certainly learned a lot through this and if you haven't cleaned your woolly winder in a while look at the instructions before you jump into it um, because that can make a huge difference or at least pay attention to how you're taking things apart. Uh, <clears throat> this is the footage sped up of me trying to figure out what's wrong and taking it apart and putting it back together. I thought I'd throw that in here just for giggles because it was a you know part of the process <laughs> because I didn't read the instructions. Read your instructions peoples. Um, really saves a lot of trouble. So I hope you enjoyed and as per usual I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!